Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and another beer review. Great Divide Brewing Company of Denver, Colorado, Hibernation Ale, English Style Old Ale. Great Divide is based out of Denver, Colorado. They've been around since 1994. It comes in a can. It may come in a bottle too, but I didn't find any or else I would bought those. So, rotate real quickly here. Basically, it's a guy skiing. The can does not have any details on it. The website says a little bit, Hibernation Ale has been our celebrated winter tra tradition since 1995. This robust dry hopped ale has a malty richness balance with a complex hop profile and hearty warming character. This beer is seasonal. It's available every year from October through December. The six pack cans of this cost me, I believe it was nine or $10. Since they don't give any clue what's in the recipe, it's kind of all speculation. Usually dark, not black, but you know, brown color. I anticipate them being very malt forward, a little bit of sweetness to them. Generally not hoppy either. Body style for this should be full given it's a winter beer. According to the can and the website, 8.7% alcohol, so it's pretty high. Does not say what the IBUs are. Medium to rich, dark brown color. Maltiness, maybe sweet. Caramel and toffee sometimes. A little bit of a roasted flavor. They're all about the malts, not really the hops. Deep brown color. Uh, it's a very rich mahogany. What you see there on the side that's the same color I see. I don't know if you can really tell, you, you really can't, but it is transparent. As you can tell, there's no particles in it, nothing floating or no sediment on the bottom. It's been clarified in some way. I don't think it's been filtered though. Probably cold crashed and used kettle findings. The head's paper thin, uh, about 16th of an inch. You can see a little bit of very light carbonation to it as well. This is the color I expect from an English Old Ale. This is accurate. I get rich multi character. Hints of perhaps brown sugar or some burnt sugar. Possibly a tiny hint of roast. Rich multi nose. I don't smell anything floral or fruity. It opened up in my mouth, but primarily covers the top about 80 90 percent up there. And it's brushing back and forth with what tastes like a malty bread cooked sugar. Those flavors stick around for a little bit, brushing against the top of my mouth, mostly in the back, and they slowly fade away. Full body. There's no sweetness I can tell. I don't get any caramel or toffee, anything like that. It really tastes to me like I'm just eating a little bit of a bread and a malt in there, a mixture of that. No spiciness, no fruit, candy. I'm not really nosy toasted like I had of the aroma. There's no chocolates or coffee notes, anything of that nature. No hoppiness or bitterness to this at all. This is pretty rich. The flavors linger a fair amount of time. They're not unpleasant, but they are potent and they let you know they're there. Sometimes you have like a holiday bread or something. It's really rich and powerful, strong in your mouth. That's kind of what this is making me think of. I did not notice any alcohol on the aroma and I don't taste any of it. So the alcohol is well hidden. The malts using are just so rich and vibrant. There's not an array of flavors though. I can only tell a few of them. I am a little disappointed that you get any more sweetness or caramel out of this. The mouth feels very rich, not smooth, not creamy. This is definitely not thin and watery. I would call this chewy. I'm thinking the recipe honestly is probably pretty simple. coating the roof of my mouth entirely. Bready, cooked sugar, a little bit of a malty backbone in there, just all that richness going on. Those flavors brush 
back and forth repeatedly. They are virtually a punch in the face. Full body, very rich, still not bitter or hoppy at all. I get a little bit toasted in there, just a hint of a sharp bitter in there, but not from hops, from a dark malt. Still no spicing, I still don't get any chocolates, coffee notes, caramel or toffee. I don't get any sweetness, fruit or candy from it. The mouthfeel is still very rich, full and chewy, not thin and watery at all. Between the, the can and the glass, I can't tell any difference, it tastes the same. I don't notice anything that up about this, anything that doesn't really belong there. No dacetol, no fusel alcohols, astringency, DMS, which would be vegetable flavors. I don't get any chemical flavors, rubber plastic rotten fruit, no metallic flavors from the can. Would I buy this again? Probably not. The richness, bitterness notes in there from the malt, burnt sugar, brown sugar flavors are really not for me. Would I recommend it? I would. You might like this beer very much. It's not bad, it just isn't to my liking. I think this one's a little overboard with the strong richness and the maltiness backbone. I've had others I think do the job a little bit better that are more accurate to the style. I don't think this is that accurate. I think it's kind of below average. This one doesn't make it a bad beer, it just doesn't fit the profile I'm looking for. Great Divide Brewing out of Denver, Colorado, Hibernation Ale. It's their winter seasonal. If you have any comments or feedback, if you had this beer, want to leave your input, let me know. I'd like to read them. All right, folks, that's all I have for this review. Cheers.